few weeks ago I was fitted for one of these and now I've got my nice new lab putter we're going to see what it's really like out on the course hi I'm Paul and this is the golf show So I went back to Scottsdale Golf's amazing Fit, Build and Play Centre in Warrington in the UK. At this centre they can fit you for most leading brands of clubs, build them for you and you can leave with them on the same day. And this time I was having a putter fitting. I'm not sure how many golfers have really had a putter fitting and we use the Sam Putt Lab technology. After only holding two out of ten putts with both my Scotty cameras, which I've had for years, the fitter suggested I tried some LAB lie angle balance putters and then something very strange occurred. Awful backswing on that and it's gone in the hole. That was out of the toe. <laughs> Just put that. Very good stroke. Dropping this down, not really lining it up. Okay, I did miss one putt, but not by a lot. Wow. Okay, okay. So nine out of ten again. With wow. three putters. That was unbelievable. I was completely blown away by all three models of putter, but we decided that the directed force 2.1 was the one for me. I've gone for it in an acro shaft in black with a 35 inch shaft and a lie angle of 70 degrees. If you want to watch the fitting in full, check out episode 140 of the golf show. There's a link in the description below. So my final prep before taking the lab putter out into the course was to go and see renowned putting coach Guy Wills at Fulford Golf Club for a quick putting lesson. Okay, so I've done all my prep. It's time to test this baby out on the course. The LAB Directed Force 2.1 T squared. The name of it is nearly as big as the size of it, isn't it? I mean, look at that. That is a spaceship on a stick, as LAB call it on their website. So I'm here at Fulford. It's really early. I'm gonna test this out from some tricky putts on some of the big greens here at Fulford. I mean, look at that for a day. How lucky am I? So let's get this in action and see what this is really like out on the course. Oh, I've had to put some gloves on. It's absolutely freezing. It's three degrees here. It's before eight o'clock in the morning. I'm here before the greenkeepers even, so the green's not been swished over. Let's see how we get on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Six, six. Nothing like a hundred foot putt first thing in the morning to get you going. As you can see, there's no lines in the gear. I've not had any practice swings yet. Oh, be lucky. What's the dew coming off that one? Tell you what, that's not bad. First ball of the day. A bit stronger. I might have a chance. Go on. <laughs> Can't actually feel my thumbs right now. <laughs> well, that could be a bit too wide. Yeah. It's not terrible from this distance though. Pretty good. Really pleased with that for a start for such a long putt. 100 foot of putt, very dewy green. I'm gonna see if I can make some two putts in a minute, but I meant to say earlier, so on this episode, we're gonna test this out on the course. I'm gonna talk about the tech that goes behind this because there is a load of tech in these things. We're gonna have a closer look at the club. And if you stay tuned to the end, I'm gonna give you some tips on how you can get used to transitioning to a putter that looks like that from a more traditional blade or a mallet. So stay tuned, but firstly, let's see if we can make some two putts. Now I've got no chance of cheating here, I mean I do leave all the bad shots in, well, most of them anyway. 
because you're going to see the lines in the juice. So let's see if we can roll some of these in, which would be a mega two pup. I actually can't feel my thumbs right now, and I've had no breakfast. You're not unlikely I've had no breakfast. Oh, get in. Oh, I had the legs, but I've not hit it. Come on, let's get at least two of these. Bad pup. Okay. I have to say, I do like the little T-bar I've got on here for alignment. There's over 36 different ways of marking these putters. Oh, wow. I'll tell you what, first thing in the morning, no breakfast. That's a great start. It's mornings like these why I play golf. Look at that. Beautiful. Looking down the ninth onto the fabulous tenth. A really positive start there. I mean, I was putting from a different postcode. So they were the long putts. I'm going to try some mid-range putts on this green, and then I'm going to try some short putts as well. Hopefully, we've got some flag positions where I've got some tricky little sliders. Solid start there from the DF 2.1, which is what I'm going to call it because it's a bit of a long name, isn't it? The Directed Force 2.1 T squared. I'm on the stunning ninth hole here at Fulford. If you've never been to Fulford, this area, the loop, the bit over the road is amazing. It's so pretty. Look at that. So I've got myself a 30-footer uphill left to right, so let's see how I get on with one of these. And what are your expectations from this kind of putt, guys? 30 foot, I mean, what's tour average on that? Maybe one and a half out of 10, something like that. I mean, really for me, it's three putt avoidance. Let's get these within a putt length and give me a chance to get in off the green with two putts and not ruining the scorecard. But get into the comments below, let me know what your expectations are for a putt like this. As you can see, I've had no practice strokes, there's no lines in the dew. Thinking about a foot and a half. Maybe a foot outside left edge. It's not going to get there, Paul. Not terrible. Come on, we can do better than that, though. Okay. So that broke about nine inches inside that ball. That weight was okay. I don't think I'd hit that. That one's got a chance, I think. Go on. I'll get that one out of the way. Go on, go on. So well, if I keep it in puts like that though, I'm not going to get a lot of stick. That was really nice, really impressed with that. One of the unusual things with lab putters is the grip. As you can see though, the putter shaft isn't coming out the centre of the grip. It's promoting a forward press. If we look down the putter, With this forward press grip, you're leaning the shaft forward, so you're keeping your hands vertical at address. It's going to reduce loft angle at impact, and it's going to encourage you to hit up on the ball to get a really nice roll on it. Not bad. Across the lab range, there are six different models of grip. This is a smooth finish. I really like that. The do one's a bit more coarse with a bit more texture. Be interesting to see how white this stays over the course of time. Looks a bit like Gary plays trousers from that round, doesn't it, at the open, but it's a nice finish. Bit of a longer grip as well than usual. So as you know, putters don't tend to stay long in my bag, but I'm quite enjoying this so far. What do you think though, guys? Put some comments below. Could you gain one of these? Now, it's enough science talk for now. We're going to have a bit more of that later though, but I've just seen that the greenkeepers have put the pin on 10 
in probably the trickiest place. We don't have too many slopey greens at full foot, so I'm going to go around the clock for about six feet, see how I get on with this flag. Flag in or out? I'm going out today. Oh, I just didn't hit it. Ooh. <laughs> I've got a green keeper watching me, I'm under pressure. Oh, not even one. That was pretty close. I didn't want to get in the green keeper's way. Just got to get used to the weight of this putter, but it's looking good. So I said earlier that lab putters have managed to reduce the torque in their golf clubs. And part of the reason for that is the shaft. They've got some really nice shafts here. This is an Acra shaft engineered for them. You can get a really nice feel from that. The trouble is if you go really stiff in a golf club shaft, it's going to feel horrible and you're not going to get any feedback. So this, with these better materials, you can get that stiffness that they need to reduce the torque, but still get some really nice feel. It does feel really soft coming off the face. If anything, it might sound a little bit tinny, and I want to talk about some pros and cons with this putter shortly. But let's just have a look at the science behind how LAB have managed to reduce torque in the golf club. What I'm going to do is put your putter in here, which is your mallet, yeah. your Scotty mallet, okay? And what it's going to show us is basically how stable the putter is and how okay. much sort of twisting we're seeing. So okay. naturally, when you put a lot of putters in these, they want to just open straight yep. away, okay? And then if I swing this putter back and forward, so I'll make it sit flat now, and then I, I take it back and forward. Oh my word. The putter is rotating a lot, okay? Put a so lab putter in there. I'll just pop that in there. Again, if we just let go of the putter, it wants to just stay very neutral. Yeah. And then when we take the putter back and forward, it does not want to twist. And, and why is the lab not twisting whereas the other one was? Yeah, so lie angle balance technology. So is, is that what LAB stands for? Yeah, basically. Yeah. So the way the putter's weighted and the way it's designed. So it loves to rotate in these devices like so. Sure. So it can it can twist and move. But the idea is yes, so that the face is essentially not twisting. So we're not going to see any of this 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 motion going on so it's going to create more stability so as liam from scottsdale golf who fitted me for this showed this thing isn't going to flop around in the putting strokes that's really good that's really helpful lab say that if you hit it off center it's not really going to make a difference wow these putters have three weight ports when you get the putter, there's some very clear instructions. Don't mess with the weights. In fact, they say don't mess with the voodoo. Don't try and bend the shaft. Each of these are fitted to your own requirements. You can't buy these off the shelf. If anyone's selling them off the shelf, don't go there. Come somewhere like Fulford and get a fitting. Go somewhere like Scottsdale Golf, get a fitting. These range from £350 to £650, so they are not cheap. You want to make sure you're getting one that is exactly right for you. I've gamed a 34 inch putter all my life, Liam fitted me 35 inches and we've gone from a 69 degree lie angle there to 70. It's only one degree but it's the difference that matters. With this you've got a massive range from 63 to 79 and a half degrees that you can change that so it's essential you get fitted. Now why are these so expensive? Well, besides the tech, they're hand built, that's right, hand built in the USA and it can take up to 30 minutes to build one of these, get the right weights in there to make it perfect for you. That's why fitting is essential. So LAB stands for Lie Angle Balance, and I think they're a pretty cool brand. Let's have a look at the head cover. Have to say, and I've owned lots of head covers in my time, this is the best quality premium head cover I've ever seen. There's lots of different options at LAB on their website. Obviously this is a USA one. Most of those are sort of black, but you can get the logo in different places and stuff. That is a really cool, piece of kit. It's big, but then it needs to be. <laughs> I'm on the par 5 11th. I think this is my 
favourite hole here at Fulford. We've got a lot of great holes to choose from. Beautiful hole. And I'm going to head down to the green and show you a couple of tips now, a couple of drills you can do to help you get used to transitioning to one of these spaceships on a stick from a more traditional putter. But as a walk, you know, what are the pros, what are the cons of these, uh, of these putters? Well, the pros I think are they're super forgiving. You know, you can hit it pretty much anywhere on the face, it's going to be okay. We'll test it out on the green as well in a minute. You know, they reduce the torque, so you're keeping that face square, which is great. You know, there's a lot of customization options here. There's 30, 36 different ways you can have the alignment markers on on the face, different colors as well. I think there's six different colors. And you can get it in the broomstick or the arm lock. So pretty versatile, a lot of pros there. What are the cons? Well, it's not cheap. We spoke about why, because they're hand-built and the ship's over from the States. Also, they're pretty funky. That's not gonna be everybody's cup of tea. And also with the DF 2.1, You've got to have this grip. It's not going to work without this grip. But, you know, he pays your money, he takes your choice. Okay, I just want to test these claims out that if you hit it off the toe or off the heel, it's just as good as hitting it out of the middle. So that one was out of the middle. This one is coming off the toe. This one's coming off the heel. Not bad, they are wintry greens, that's pretty impressive. Okay, I said I'll give you some drills now for helping you transition to this putter from a traditional putter. We're going to start with the two ball drill. So due to the unique shape of this putter, what I'm going to do is put two balls on the back and take my putting stroke. See if I can get those balls to stay on there so I've got a smooth stroke and not do that. <laughs> okay, so get those balls in the back of the DF 2.1T squared. And what you're looking for is for those balls not to fall off until after you've hit the ball. If they fall off in the backswing, then you've got a really jerky transition or you're changing the angle a lot. So we're just looking for those balls to stay on there through transition and fall off round about there. So the one ball drill is a bit trickier. Get lined up, you're aiming to keep that ball in the middle of the gap there. If you do a bad backswing, it's going to drop out. If it's a it's a jerky transition, it's going to come out. So what we're looking to see is that ball just stay in the middle of the face. This is something unique you can only do with this putter. Nice smooth tempo, this is going to help with speed as well. And there we go, great drill that if you want to get used to this putter. I'm looking forward to using this, can't wait to see what the guys are going to say about it when I see them this afternoon. But who cares if it holds some uh, more putts, what are they going to say about that? Guys, I really hope you enjoyed this review. I think this could be a great putter for me and it's going to be in the bag for a while. I know I say that every time, but I've got a feeling. So guys, if you enjoyed this review, please give it a like. If you really enjoyed it, please tell your friends about The Golf Show and give us a subscribe. And we'll see you next time on The Golf Show. I hope you enjoyed the episode of The Golf Show. To watch another, click here. To subscribe, click here.